Hey, hello everybody, Disciple here with Overwatch Curios and Overwatch Moments. Before we get into today's video, I've got a quick message from a sponsor and I wanted to share with you guys an awesome way to get free gift cards for things like PlayStation, Xbox, or Steam. The app is called App Bounty on Android and Blue on iOS, and you can follow the link in the description to check it out. Sign up with code OC for Overwatch Curios for some free points, and then get started earning towards your own free gifts. You can do really simple things like downloading apps and completing short tasks that are absolutely free to you, and you'll immediately earn points that you can use not just for gaming, but on sites like iTunes, Netflix, and Amazon as well. I do about 90% of my shopping on Amazon, I buy way too many games on Steam that I haven't played yet, and I like to Netflix and chill with the best of them, and I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind having a little bit of extra spending money. If nothing else, you can get more loot boxes to snag those awesome event skins that aren't going to be around for too long. I've actually used the app myself long before they contacted me, and I can promise you guys it's legit, so check out the link below and give it a try. Anyways, let's get started. Hello everybody, Disciple here with Overwatch Curios. Now, ultimate abilities are Overwatch's way of tipping the scales in a team fight to try and wrestle control of a point or objective into a specific team's favor. Some are really great by themselves, while others rely on the team to really bring home the win. Every hero has an ultimate that's useful in certain situations, or that provides raw strength or healing, and some that halt enemy movement altogether, and today we're going to take a few minutes and check out the top 5 most overpowered ultimates in the game. This list was difficult to decide on because so many heroes do have amazing ultimate abilities that can turn the tide and win games, and it especially depends on how exactly you use them. But these five made the final cut by being just that much stronger, more useful, and having that wombo potential that can just end the game. Anyway, here we go. Now, Anna Amari is one of the strongest supports in the game when fully mastered and in the hands of a seasoned player. Her damage output is great for a healer, her sleep dart crowd control is ridiculously useful, and her burst healing is second to none. However, the real icing on the cake is Anna's ultimate, Nano Boost. For a short duration, Anna buffs the target's damage and effective health through the roof, and tossed on just about any hero can make them a killing machine. However, if she places the ultimate on certain heroes that have abilities that synergize with the Nano Boost, magical things happen. Nano a Genji while he's using Dragon Blade and watch the entire enemy team get cut into sushi in record time. Hit a Reinhardt as he uses Earth Shatter and watch his hammer swings one shot these knockdown enemies. A nano boosted Soldier 76 coupled with a tactical advisor equals an auto aim that does ridiculous amounts of damage and is pretty much unavoidable. The list goes on. Now of course Ana herself takes some skill to master and to be effective on, and her ultimate is not a reason to pick her all by itself, since it has been nerfed from its original glory which was just way overpowered. Many times, inexperienced Ana players will hit unintended targets with nano boost, which is pretty hilarious when you get a boostio, or they'll choose allies that aren't so great at utilizing the nano like Zarya or Torbjorn. Unfortunately, a Zarya with low energy is not going to be able to make great use of it. Also, a nano boost at the wrong time is next to useless and can result in your team push being easily counter ulted or your team not having enough push power to really break the enemy line. Overall though, her entire kit is very strong and nano boost just rounds out the package with a nice damage and survivability boost that, when used in conjunction with the right allies, can result in devastating results and carry a team to victory. The other Amari, Farah, on the other hand, is a pure beacon of damage output. Once a player gets used to keeping Farah in the air and landing more direct rocket hits than splash damage, her overall DPS is pretty hard to match with anyone else, since it's just so reliable in the hands of a skilled player. Now she is tricky to master as all of her abilities are skill shot based and her air control takes a huge amount of situational awareness to master properly, but once you get the hang of her, you've got the potential to massacre enemies. Her ultimate, Rocket Barrage, is icing on an already incredibly deadly cake. Farah stops dead wherever she is, pops her shoulder mounted launchers out, and lets loose a volley of rockets whose direction can be controlled by the player that do a truckload of damage to any targets in a pretty large size area. Just like Ana though, she does take some practice to master, as does her ultimate. 
Many inexperienced fire players will just launch rocket barrage anywhere, even in plain view of the entire enemy team, and can be taken out before the damage really gets anywhere. Far's ultimate's best used in combination with any kind of movement impairing ultimate or ability. For example, Reinhardt's Earth Shatter will knock down enemies in a conal area in front of him, and if timed alongside it, Rocket Barrage can easily take out an entire team who can't move, much less fire back at the Farah. In tight spaces like corridors and choke points, Rocket Barrage is extra deadly as the enemy team really only has two choices, shoot at Farah or just run away and die. With a little bit of timing and remaining above or behind the enemy in the air, Rocket Barrage is a force to be reckoned with and can easily solo kill an entire team. Now Lucio is awesome and is one of the most useful and powerful heroes in the game hands down, and he has been really since the beginning. At higher tiers of play, speed boost and healing boost at the right times make a huge difference in a team fight. His wall riding can make him irresponsibly hard to hit, and Lucio's recently been changed in a few ways that makes him even more dangerous while engaging. That's all good and stuff, but the real reason Lucio's amazing and is on this list is his ultimate, Sound Barrier. Lucio jumps into the air, drops down to the ground with a sonic amplifier aimed downward, and drops the beat so hard that he gives everyone a massive shield that degrades slowly over a few seconds, but does provide enough defensive oomph to make a team push or defense extremely effective. It's good in any team comp, on any map, and alongside any ultimate abilities because they all supplement sound barrier and only one of them overlaps, which is Zenyatta's Transcendence, which has a similar effect but is more reactive. The best part of Lucio's ultimate is that it doesn't take anything fancy to execute, except some coordination and timing on the player's part with their team. So as long as you're in range of the team and they're pushing, defending, or popping their ults, it's almost always a good idea to aid them with Sound Barrier and make life that much easier. What's also awesome about Sound Barrier is that it counters pretty much all of the other extremely powerful ultimates, so even if someone's ultimate is stronger than his, his can still be just as good if timed exactly right. Now, one of the most effective and useful ults in the game does almost zero damage by itself, but it does have pretty much the best ability an ultimate could have, crowd control. Zarya's Graviton Surge will grab and pull in enemies within a pretty decent radius and hold them there for several seconds, in the same spot, unable to move. Now that's huge for a multitude of reasons. Any damage dealing ultimate or ability in combination with it is exponentially easier to land because the enemies are just stuck there. The list of ultimates it synergizes with is also pretty nice. Farah, Reaper, Tracer, Diva, Junkrat, Soldier 76, McCree, Genji, Bastion, Hanzo, Roadhog, It'd actually be faster to list all the ults and abilities it doesn't work well with. It's extremely useful in almost all situations where ultimates are comboed together to wipe a team, and therein lies the skill it takes to use the ult properly. Sure, it's easy to just fire off and capture a large number of enemies, but if the team doesn't execute with you, it's potentially useless. You'll see not so good Zarya players firing it off in desperation or only nabbing two or three enemies instead of waiting for a really team winning setup. Zarya herself is a higher skill cap hero and does need to be handled properly with her abilities and her ultimate, and team synergy is an issue, so if you don't have a team willing to work with you, chances are you'll be a little bit less effective. While most heroes can synergize with Zarya very well, the best ones are Farah, Soldier, and Hanzo since her ultimates are quick, strong, and pretty much unavoidable if the Graviton Surge is included. The only reason that Zarya isn't number one on the list is because the overall skill cap and the timing and synergy it takes to use the ultimate effectively does make it a little bit harder, and it can be countered potentially by a Reinhardt shield or a Lucio shield. Now at the very top of the list is Angela Ziegler, or Mercy. She's a strong sustained healer, and she has excellent mobility that does take a bit of skill and situational awareness, and her damage boost is certainly useful in quite a few situations. But overall, she would not be a very good hero at all, and her kit is actually incredibly weak when compared with someone else like Ana. The real power is her ultimate resurrection. What's better than dying during a push, then waiting, watching your entire team get melted by a wombo of enemy ultimates, sitting there sad in your chair, getting ready to quit, and then have Mercy fly in, press one button, and bring everyone back to life so that the enemy team has to kill all of you twice? Talk about Clutch. It's by far the strongest ultimate in the entire game, period. Resurrection has a decent range, can be used at any time during the several seconds it takes for a player to respawn, and it only requires two things. 
Good situational awareness and positioning. Not even great, just good awareness and positioning. Even desperation resurrections that only get half the team up have won games. Players on your team who might have died before popping their ults get a second chance to come back and wipe the enemy team, and even if you could just get up a few allies to stand on the point and block it while the rest of your team get in to reinforce them, it can be huge and can tip the game by itself. It's definitely an ultimate with huge potential, and even though it might not end the game quite as cleanly as something like a perfect Graviton Surge or Rocket Barrage, the fact that it's so easy to use definitely gives it quite a big boost in its power. So this list was pretty tough to sort out, and we've got to talk about a few honorable mentions as well that could easily be on the list depending on the person judging it. We've talked about Reinhardt and a couple of his examples, and his ultimate Earth Shatter is very strong, as it renders the enemies helpless for a few seconds as they scramble to get back up off the ground. It's got a really nice conal range and is useful in tons of situations, especially while coupled with other ults. The only trick is really that it can be hard to get most of the enemy team in the ult, especially if they're hiding behind an object or a shield and aren't in the area directly in front of you. Unlike Graviton Surge or Blizzard, it doesn't have a circular, large range to snag everyone, so you do have to be really careful with it. Another amazing ultimate is Zenyatta's Transcendence, because it can counter so many other ultimates as well, just like Lucio or Mercy's. It's very similar to Lucio's ult in the fact that it makes the team much, much harder to kill, and enables pushing and defenses to really succeed. But the primary reason Zen wasn't on the list is because of Lucio, and the fact that the players on the team have to remain pretty close to Zen the entire time to receive the heals. And if there's enough burst damage, like a very close up rocket barrage, you can actually still kill them through the Zenyatta heal, unfortunately for our Omnic friend. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for this list. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you do, maybe hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm curious what you guys agree and disagree on and what you think the strongest ultimate in the game is, so I'd always love to hear from you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time, and peace.